You go, my favorite Vancouver workers. You go, you big, strong men. We need more men like this, you know, in our world. Instead of these little fluff balls fucking on the street, pooping and peeing and selling hard drugs. After Friday, witnessing on that uh, video of a guy taking one toke and falling dead on our doorway. Straight, like, like a board. He didn't even crumble. He just straight over was too much. Was just too much. I call it the threshold of death now. Look at that. That should have been done a long time ago instead of making us suffer. Those are my red headphones. That way you guys can't hear my TV and I can't hear most of the noise outside. Oh, you didn't do that. There, no, you didn't do that. You didn't do nothing. I did it. I'm the one that fucking had to do all the work. You did nothing, lady. Nothing. I've got a receipt from the city, too. Yeah, that was a good conversation. I recorded the conversation, too. I should uh, release the conversation that I recorded to get this shit show clean. But you, 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 one of your crappy staff won't even talk to me because he banged on my door for five minutes, woke me up, he couldn't count to number one, and accused me of throwing shit out the window. Now I gotta deal with his fucking abuse on a daily basis so you don't get to talk to me or Daisy. You didn't stand up for us, I did. You don't get any fucking credit. <laughs>